The philosophy number two is going to be start where you are right now. Too many times I see people set really, really high standards for themselves when they're just getting started. And while that's good to have ambition, it's good to want to really achieve something, if it's outside of the scope of what's able to be sustained, you're constantly going to crash once you can't maintain that habit anymore. For example, let's say that you want to start exercising five times a week, but right now you're only exercising once a week. Trying to go from once a week to five times a week is probably not the best strategy from the beginning. It's a good goal to have, but it's not the best place to start. And oftentimes we try to achieve the hardest thing first without even realizing it. You might hear that the ideal goal for losing weight is exercising five times a week, but unless you understand what kind of time commitment that takes and whether you're able to sustain that or not, you're just gonna crash and burn. So if you're already working out once a week, try just adding another day. Maybe you already do one day a week of cardio, so maybe add one day of strength training and then build from that and slowly add more and more until you get to the point where you're at the most you can do. The same goes with nutrition. A lot of times people wanna go straight to the crash diet or the fad diet, the thing that completely changes everything they do when it comes to eating food. A lot of times this means removing all of your favorite foods because you think that there's certain foods that are better for losing weight. I don't wanna pick on the keto diet, but a lot of times people will go from eating what they are now to go to the keto diet because so many people have lost weight eating keto. And you do this despite not really enjoying the types of foods that are on the keto diet. So what ends up happening is, is you lose some weight initially, but because you don't actually like the way that the keto diet is set up and you don't enjoy those types of foods, at least not to that extent or that extreme, you end up going off the keto diet and you gain all the weight back. Now, again, I'm not trying to pick on the keto diet. This could be any diet. It could be vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, carnivore, low carb, whatever. It's better to start off with just trying to make one small improvement upon whatever it is that you're already doing. So as an example, a lot of my clients, when they come on board and start working with me, aren't eating enough vegetables. So what I'll simply do is say, hey, I don't want you to change anything else about what you are eating right now. I just want you to include one serving of vegetables twice a day. And that's it. Don't worry about your protein. Don't worry about your calories. Don't worry about your exercise outside of what you're already doing. Just focus on that one thing. Now, when you become really good at that one thing and it's pretty much on autopilot, then from there, it's about adding another habit in the same sort of way. That could be through protein or maybe total calories or managing carb intake. It doesn't matter what you choose. What matters is getting consistent with it and then sticking with it as much as you can. If you can do that, you will see much better results than if you try to do everything at once.